What is that game? Is UTX on Team Rush bringing you some BF3 TDM on Operation Metro? And this was this was supposed to go up yesterday, like a double feature TDM day with uh, both MW3 and BF3, but I ended up falling asleep. I was tired. I was going off for like one hour of sleep in like a span of two days or like three. I don't know. It feels like three days, but it was probably two. I just I lose track of time now. <laughs> I'm working like like real regular hours and just it's throwing me off. And um, so I was just I had to just redo the whole commentary. You know, it didn't work out. So um, you know, I was watching the Heat game. I ended up falling asleep. I saw some of the highlights today, which was pretty good. Um, it was funny because my nephew was joking around me, you know, while we were watching it, because Wade didn't come back at the third quarter, and they were down. So like my nephew was like, "Oh, he's mad they're losing." <laughs> and then the minute they were down by like I think it was like two points, he comes back, he's up, and they put him back in the game. And it was just it was hilarious, man. We were, we were cracking jokes because it's like, I hope I hope that's not I hope that's not like the situation. But it feels like it is, you know, like he was kind of like a sore loser, you know, he was losing and he didn't want to be in the game. And then all of a sudden he's back in the game and his return was questionable. I don't know. It's weird. It was a weird uh, situation there with, with Wade or whatever. They won. You know, LeBron did his thing. And um, I'm more of a LeBron fan. I'm really not a Heat fan. Like if LeBron was in, still on the Cavs, I'd probably still be going for the Cavs. And I don't know how this guy did not understand where I was at. So playing Operation Metro, I felt like just jumping in some TDM, but I also felt like using a shotgun and um, just trying out like the different rounds and different things, uh, what to make the shotgun work best. And I really like the buckshot, but I also like the slug rounds. The slug rounds are real good, like on long range. It helps a lot. Um, so I've been using that and I've been trying to mix it up with that. And I kind of get my payback on this dude right there. <laughs> I don't know if that was him. I think the rubble came down and killed somebody. I think that's what, what happened. Uh, that's what what happened. I don't know why I'm like stumbling on my words today, but Yeah, man, so I don't know the shotgun is fun the shotgun is fun But you really got to get that spread pattern on them like on on the person It's kind of like uh, annoying. And I don't know why the circle doesn't go away I just realized that right now like the circle didn't go away when I switched to my RPG There right there it went away, but before it didn't I never realized that during the game So um, I don't know. I feel like the game sometimes has those issues. It's like kind of buggy sometimes but um, yeah, man. I don't know. I'm enjoying the shotgun. It does work. I want to. I want to say that uh, I haven't tried the frag rounds. Um, and oh, that's something that I did say in my last commentary, and I didn't say right here. I almost forgot about it. Um, shout out to UTX Shaxx Bazam. Uh, he he does a lot. He's doing a lot of BF3 videos, and he's putting up some real good videos. Um. Uh, one that he, he uh, that I mentioned on my last commentary, and it's funny that he put the video up yesterday. He was talking about the uh, US AS-12 with frag rounds, and it's just like, it's ridiculous on how it works. So he put up a video yesterday about that. I'm going to put his link in the description. You know, you want to see some BF3 videos, check them out. He did like a tank montage there too. So, you know, he's working on his, his BF3 videos, and he's doing his thing. And he's a real good BF3 player. I, I'm... Um, I played Bad Company 2. I played Battlefield 3 with him, but I played um, Battlefield 2 with him, and he's a good player. He, uh, you know, they're more experienced than I am in the game and the things like that. So um, check him out. I'll put the link in the description, like I said before. And yeah, man, I've, I've really uh, joined some of his videos because he was putting up some good ones. He also has like um, attack chopper, like tips on the attack chopper, and just like the best thing to use with the attack chopper. So check him out. And uh, yeah. Really, um, I got some more Battlefield. Like, I'm really working on doing some things with Battlefield, but I just don't, like, I probably, it's probably not helpful anymore because the game's been out so, uh, like, for a while now. But uh, I'll probably do that. I'll probably try one, see how it does, like, you know, see how well it does and see if people even care for it. And if not, um, I probably just won't do it. If it does well, I'll do more of it in the future. Uh, it'll probably take a, a little bit for me to get that out because it's going to take me probably getting different footage and things like that. So I'll try that out. And this dude straight up killed me with a fucking sniper rifle. <laughs> I was pissed when he killed me with that. But yeah, so I'll try that out, see how it comes out, and uh, bring it to you guys and see what happens. But um, yeah, uh, probably, I don't even know. I think I'm going to see if I got Because I have to look through my gameplays. I deleted all my gameplays on my hard drive. And I know I've gotten more 
but I, I want to post up like conquest and rush I really don't want to do that much TDM anymore because I feel like I did that a lot you know I did a lot of that and I want to just switch it up to more objective games because that's what Battlefield is about you know it's PTFO or GTFO shout out to OJ360 and um till next time I'm out peace